Veterans Total Sports is brought to you by Fourth Terrace Diagnostic Center. Welcome to sports, everybody. Champ Short has once been, again been called up by the New York Mets to be a part of their spring training roster. The Mets currently playing in the Grapefruit League in Port St. Lucie, Florida. Short did not get in the game yesterday in an 11-4 loss to the New York Yankees, nor did he play today in an 8-5 loss to the Washington Nationals. The Mets play again tomorrow against the Detroit Tigers. On to the NBA hardwood last night, Buddy Heel going up against his old team. He finished up 7 for 18 from the field, 4 of 11 from the three-point arc, 2 of 2 at the line. He had 20 points, 5 rebounds, an assist, and a steal in just under 31 minutes. The Sacramento Kings falling to the New Orleans Pelicans, 114-101. Buddy and the Kings play again tomorrow at home against the Orlando Magic. On to the college hardwood now, Travis Munning finishing up with 13 points last night. He led Louisiana Monroe into the second round of the Sunbelt Conference Tournament, knocking out Arkansas State 76-54. Up next now will be Georgia Southern on Friday. On the ladies' side, the Jacksonville Dolphins, they're into the championship game of the Atlantic Sun Tournament. They beat North Florida 83-77. Shalonda Neely playing just three minutes and had one steal for Coach Gillette McPhee McQuinn. The Dolphins face off with Florida Gulf Coast on Sunday with an automatic bid to the NCAA Tournament on the line. Now, earlier today, DeAndre Ayton and Arizona, they were in quarterfinal round action in the Pac-12 tournament against Colorado. A slow first half, 3 for 10 from the field, just 6 points, 3 rebounds. The Cats only led 35-33 at the break. Second half, not much better for the big man. He finished up with 10 points on 4 of 14 from the field and 2 of 6 from behind, actually from the free throw line. He also had 7 rebounds, 3 blocks, 2 assists and 2 steals. Arizona would prevail though 83-67. Up next in the semifinals tomorrow will be the winner of UCLA and Stanford. That game playing as we speak. The Cats this season 2-0 against Stanford. They lost their only game against UCLA. Well, Telios won the Bahamas Scholastic Association Senior Boys Basketball Championship on Tuesday. It's now on to the Nationals in Grand Bahama, and the game plan is simple. We have to work on being patient. We're a little bit too quick and too spasmodic. We need to be more patient and selective in our shooting. Telio swept Mount Carmel in the championship series. Mount Carmel coach Jeffrey Henfield spoke about what needs to happen so that his team could compete at a higher level. That's small games, keep them together. It's, it's just an experience, it's learning experience. Like, I have faith and I know we're going we to get better after each game. We still uh, made it to Nationals, to play in Nationals in Freeport. So hopefully we go over there, have a good show, and then uh, move forward from there. The National High School Track and Field Championships underway at the Thomas A. Robinson National Stadium. From there, it's on to Carifta Trials and then the Carifta Games. Earlier this week, Carifta Fever hit the original Thomas A. Robinson Stadium. Among those on hand was Christopher Thompson from the Bahamas Anti-Doping Commission. He spent some time with Carifta hopefuls, showing them exactly what they can take from what they can't. Anything that's been that can enhance your performance as an athlete would be considered a, a drug or, or a doping violation. Um, so with, to prevent that, what we would do is we would have you see one of our therapeutic use doctors who would at least give you information on which drugs that you can take and certify you for that drug so that you could, you could perform at the level that you want to perform at and still be able to take your medication or whether it's for diabetes or any other ailments that you have and with certain medications they do certain things to the body so we have to be conscious of what medicines you're taking and what products or what chemicals are in those medications so it really it's a little complex situation um, and but we use we usually give consultation on it um, through the Bahamas Anti-Doping Commission. Well, last weekend, the police held their fun run walk. And as you can see, this coming Saturday will be softball. And I'm going to turn it over to you guys and tell us what's going on. Yeah, good night, Jonathan. It's good to be here. First of all, let me thank you on behalf of the Commissioner of Police and all the members of the Royal Bahamas Police Force. We're celebrating our 178-year anniversary. And our team for that anniversary is celebrating our past, protecting our future. With this as a backdrop, um, we have having a number of events, sporting events, variety concerts, the, and then we culminate with our annual gala ball. That will be on April 7th. We're here today to hype up all of you, the community, 
members of the public to come and join us. <coughs> we start off, we had the fun run, like you said, last week, mm -hmm. Saturday, and we thank the public for the major turnout. I think we could go on where I can say we just there behind the Susan Coleman. <laughs> I, I'm being facetious, but that's it, good, was, that's good. it oh. was excellent. This Saturday, March 10, at the Blue Hill Playing Complex, will be a uh, um, softball tournament and jamboree. As you can see, we have different colors represented here. We have the red team, of which I am a part of, headquarters, Transformers, Loon Red. And I have some of my colleagues in studio here from the other team. I'll let them introduce themselves and go on and speak about their team. Uh, good evening, Bahamas. Um, I'm Superintendent Christopher Wright, um, the commanding officer of the Southern Division. Um, collectively, um, Southern Division, along with South West, South Central, uh, Cable Beach, and the airport, um, we're going to combine our efforts to beat up on these different colors that you see here. We are the purple team, and we are the gladiators. The excitement fills the air as we engage ourselves during the entire month of March. Um, when we, uh, as we celebrate our 170, 80 years, as Superintendent Robertson has said, um, I'm asking you, um, the softball tournament is in honor of um, retired Assistant Commissioner Juanita Colebrook, um, who was very instrumental in starting this league. So we want you to be there on time. The first pitch is at 8.30 a.m. The first game is at 9 a.m. And yours truly, along with, with um, some of these here, will be um, playing that first game. So guess what, um, Bahamas? I'm going to be there. They're going to be there. We need you to be there to, to continue this excitement. I am representing the central team, central ballers, the money green team. We are going to razzle and dazzle our opponents and come up with the victory. We're not arrogant. We are just that good. Central ballers. Yeah. I'm representing the vitamin C. Team Orange, I know it's only me, but we have orange vitamin C that y'all need. I am woman couple three and five major from the police force band. And we also had a mini tattoo in the community. We have one on Friday, which will be at Fox Hill. So we want you all to come down and invite it and enjoy and come up and have fun. I'm Sergeant Jerron Thompson. I represent Team Blue, the beast from the east. Woo! Thank you very much. <laughs> Um, that, team, that team includes South Beach Police Station, Elizabeth State Police Station, Northeastern Station, which is Wolf Road, and the Fox Hill Station. Um, these are the teams that you see represented here. They're going to be positioning themselves for second place. Yeah, let's go. Come and celebrate with us on Saturday. We're going to be giving away free merchandise, and we're going to win it all. Yeah! <laughs> Corporate Forbes here. 3358 represent the crime family destroyers. Yeah. The defending champions as well. Okay. Two things we have to say. Short and sweet. Don't turn your car off. This one be over before it starts. <laughs> 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 All right, so Robert, I want you to get the last word in because you didn't say what your team can do to everybody. Yeah, Listen, there's no need. It's, <laughs> when, when, when you know what it is, no need to brag. We know that the Transformers, the rest of them, they're second place. There'll be a sea of red, low and red. We'll destroy them. But, but let, let me say before we leave, Johnson. Let me, let me say before we leave that what you see. One second, please. Let me say before we leave that just what you see going on here in Nassau will be going on throughout our family islands. Is a is a archipelago, and all of the police officers throughout the family islands, Grand Bahama. They'll be celebrating al along with us. Grand Bahama also has their softball tournament okay. that starts tomorrow evening and goes right through to sa through, through Saturday. So again, to uh, partners and also the community, come out and support your police. Yes. The police is the public, and the public is the police. Okay. Come on out and support us. Gladiators! Transformers! Yeah. Well, there you go. Once again, a successful fun run walk last Saturday and this Saturday softball, so come out and support the police. And that will do it for sports. Stay tuned. The Bahamas Tonight comes back after the break. Yeah!